I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is what makes the weather. So I'm going to write that up on top. What makes the weather. And really what we're going to explore are the different tools that we use to decide about the weather. So I'm going to come right here in the center. I'm just going to draw a straight line all the way down to the bottom. Then I'm going to take four fingers, put a dot, four fingers, put a dot. And at each dot I'm going to draw a straight line across off the page, straight line across, off the page. Come over here to this first box. First thing we're going to do is put a dot and we're going to draw a curved line, straight line, curved line, straight line, curved line, connect. We're going to repeat that straight line, curved line, straight line, curved line, connect right here in the center put a dot and on that dot we're just going to draw a curve line straight line curve line straight line up and connect on the sides we're just going to put little straight lines on the left and little straight lines on the right we're going to put a letter c on the top left and a letter f on the top right because this is a thermometer. Thermometer. And a thermometer measures, I'm going to run out of room, temperature in our atmosphere. Temperature in our atmosphere. And I'm just going to put a wavy line right here to represent the mercury that's inside that goes up and measures how hot it is. Celsius, C, if you're every place else but the United States, which uses Fahrenheit, F. Okay. Next, put a dot, and we're going to draw a pretty good sized circle. Connect, and we're going to mimic that and draw it again. Pretty good sized circle, up, over, connect. Inside, right about here, put a dot. And we're going to draw a curved line over and leave it floating. We're going to put little straight lines all the way across on top. And then right about here I draw a baby circle, straight line, triangle. Okay. This instrument or this tool measures the humidity, humidity that's in our atmosphere. And it is called a hygrometer. Hygrometer. And it lets us know how much humidity is in our air, our atmosphere, I should say. Now I come down to this space, put a dot, and I'm going to draw a baby square, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. I draw on the bottom left, straight diagonal out. Bottom right, straight diagonal out, slightly curved line, connect. Come back to the left, straight line down on the left, straight line down on the right, slightly curved line, connect on the bottom. Now I come up here on top and I draw straight diagonal up, down, straight diagonal out, in, connect, straight diagonal out, in, connect. Come back to the top, we're going to draw a curved line, connect, and on next to it a curved line out, connect. Come down to this one, we're going to draw a curved line, connect, curved line out, in, connect. Come to this one on the left, we're going to draw a curved line, curved line out, in, connect. This, <coughs> excuse me, is an Anna. Anemometer. Anemometer. 
and this curve line triangle, curve line triangle, curve line triangle measures the wind speed. All of this has to do with the atmosphere. And depending on all of these factors determines what the weather is going to be like. Now come over here to this side, put a dot, <clears throat> let's draw <clears throat> a flat oval, straight line, curve line, straight line up, connect. We're going to go one, two little straight lines on the right, one, two little straight lines below, and now up here put a dot, and we're going to draw a curve line, straight line down, curve line, straight line up, connect. Now you can connect these little lines if you need to. And we're going to put a wavy, wavy line kind of in the center. And we're going to put little straight lines going all the way up. Now all of these little straight lines are for measuring. <clears throat> Okay, right above, we're just going to put one curve line connect, two curve lines connect, three curve lines connect. And this is the preci precipitation, precipitation, it's a good thing it's spelled the way it sounds, precipitation, and this tool is a rain gauge. And it tells you how much water has fallen through rainfall. Okay? Now we come down to this side. We're going to draw a straight line down. We're going to draw a skinny triangle at the bottom. Right about here, we're going to go one diagonal straight line, two diagonal straight lines. I'm going to make this a little bit taller straight line across, baby triangle, curve line in, in, connect. This is now north, east, south, and west. This is a weather vane. Most of us know that. Weather vane. But what does a weather vane really do? It shows you the wind direction. And again, that's another indicator of what makes the weather. Question mark, sorry. Now I come down to this bottom one, put a dot. We're going to draw another pretty good sized circle. Put a dot, draw that circle again. On the inside, we're going to put little straight lines. And again, these are measurement degrees and we're going to put straight diagonal, straight diagonal, straight line down, curve line. This instrument is a barometer. And what does a barometer measure? It measures the air pressure. All of this determines what kind of weather we're having. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, we're going to keep this really simple. So right here on my thermometer, which measures the temperature in Celsius and or Fahrenheit, I'm going to color that space in red. Now I come over to my hygrometer and I'm going to color the outside red. Now, when you do a chart like this, and you're doing a lot of writing and labels, you don't want to color in everything so you can't see it anymore. So we're going to keep it simple. I'm going to use blue on my arrow. Okay. Now I come down to my anemometer, which measures wind speed. And I'm going to color this section red so that I know it's a different section this is the bottom part of it. A different section of the cups. These are like little cups that spin according to the wind speed. So make those red. Then I'm just going to take my blue and do my little arrow triangles. 
at the top and the bottom and over here to the side. Okay, next, my rain gauge. So do I remember that it's rain? I'm gonna color this in blue. And I'm gonna color in my water blue that's been gathered from the precipitation. And this is the holder, so I'm gonna do this red. Okay, next, weather vane. On this, I'm just going to do my little weather direction up here at the top, blue, and my little triangle down here at the bottom, blue. Okay, and finally, my barometer. I'm just going to take my blue and go all the way around the outside. This measures air pressure. That's all. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here are my weather tools all colored in. So this will help me remember what makes the weather. Okay, bye-bye.